sit here and die over and over again. I'm not going to sit here and die over and over again with this shitty ass monitor. Let's get it done with it right now. And that's it, dude. That's Yo, what is up everyone? I'm back. Uh, today we're gonna be making a new video and this is gonna be about Mr. T-Lexify. And this guy is seriously just an absolute clown and you'll see why in a minute. Mr. T-Lexify ended up being the video I made today because this fucking video he made and this video is absolutely horrendous. The name of it is Top 5 Hardest Run 100s and Zombies. And yeah, I bet you already know if you're a high round player off of that alone that this is gonna be a fucking a clown fest already. So let's get into it guys. Good channel, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. Welcome to the top five hardest maps to reach round 100 on solo. Now, if there's any list that has the most backed up criteria, the most evidence behind it, this would be it because I have either tried or failed to reach round 100. All right. Well, we just started the video and this guy has already said some absolute bullshit. I mean, seriously, I don't know if you just heard what he said, but he just said, if anyone has it, he's got the best criteria for a top five hardest one, round 100s. Um, yeah, no, I think you just suck at the game. I think that's what it is. I mean, seriously, don't let this guy fool you. He's just a casual. He can barely get past round 30. If I'm being honest, I, I feel like someone like Data could make a better top five hardest round of 100s than this guy. And I decided to make this video to make sure that y'all know what the actual hardest maps are. Now, obviously, there's some criteria we got to go through. The first off is we're not including any map that is impossible to reach round 100 on solo. So call it dead. See you later. Bus Depot. See you later. And also, we will not be including anything that you need an exploit to get to round 100 on. So anything with the fast ray gun, so nuke town, town, farm, see you later. What the fuck is this guy talking about? You don't need fast ray to get to run 100 on town. Like, what the fuck is he, what is he talking about, dude? <laughs> this is also why I hate zombie YouTubers so much, because the, literally he's making it sound like you need fast ray to get around 100 on town, when you, you definitely don't. I mean, someone's done it before. And also, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 maps mostly will be out because of either gobblegums and elixirs or just of how easy Black Ops 4 is for the entire Zombies game mode for high rounds. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get down into that number 5 spot. And coming to our surprising number 5 spot, this is Mob of the Dead. Now, Mob of the Dead is a surprisingly easy and fun map when you're just playing it and doing the easter egg and a lot of people even like codename pizza would say it's too easy yeah you need to start listening to codename pizza dude what the fuck like this has got to be like one of the easiest run of hundreds of all time honestly if i were to make a top five easiest run of hundreds this would guaranteed be on it already like probably like number one or two like i, I don't really know what map's easier than this other than like maybe like die rise or origins because the maps are just so fast but mob of the dead if we're talking like slower paced maps then Mob of the Dead is definitely like the easiest round 100 um, if we're talking about like trap maps in specific. Yeah, you, you literally get a revive every round. Like, you can take it down every round and even more. Like you have like three downs um, and you, you regenerate one per round. So I, I don't know. This map is like ridiculous how easy it is. Now, the way it's actually difficult is not necessarily in terms of the gameplay because you're actually given a lot of stuff that you need to get through to the high rounds quite easily. You're getting the riot shield. You're getting the vitriolic withering for a monkey bomb effect. You're getting the hells or demer. What makes it difficult is you're using the trap and up towards 12 hours of game time to actually hit round 100. Well, if that's the only thing we're basing it off of, why is Noct not on you? I mean, seriously, Noct's got a much harder high round strat. You, you fuck up once, it's over. The only perk you have is Mule Kick. I mean, seriously. Um, also, Noct takes about, what, 20 hours to, to get to around 100 if you if you want to get the speed run, yeah? But um, if you're a more casual player, it'll probably take around 30, maybe even 40 hours. Uh, it took like 30-something for Oxygen, so... I'm assuming a casual would at least be slower than Oxygen at that point, so... Yeah, if, if, um, it'll probably take around 40 hours. Also, Mob, you can get like an 8-hour 100 on, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah, like, I, I don't know. This guy's kind of kind of stupid for not putting Noct on this list, if that's what he's going off of. This round 100 is more so about endurance than any other round 100, obviously, other than Town, Nuketown, Bus Depot, Call of the Dead, etc. Those don't count. What about Verruckt? I mean, you say that Mob of the Dead takes more endurance than Verruckt, but 
Varrock, there's no way to save yourself when you fuck up. I mean, seriously, you only have three monkeys for nearly the whole game. Uh, Mob of the Dead, you have the Vitralic Withering, which can constantly save you the whole game, which you get max ammos a lot with because of the Hell's Redeemer. And also, Mob of the Dead's faster than Varrock. Like, for example, if you're playing both Varrock and Mob of the Dead the slow way, then Mob of the Dead, you'll probably get like a 12 hour 100. Varrock, you'll probably get like a late 12 hour, maybe a 13 hour 100, depending on how slow you're playing it. Um, if you're playing faster on both of the maps, then Mob of the Dead just is way out of Varrock's league. I mean, seriously. That's try you probably get like a 10 hour, maybe like a very high 9 hour 100. But Mob of the Dead, I, I know you can at least get like an 8 hour. All you've really got is the Hell's Redeemer that can kill zombies and the trap. That is it. Nothing else can kill zombies past like round 50 or 60. So and to be honest, it is one of the hardest round 100s in all of Call of Duty Zombies. Okay, seriously, what the fuck was that down, dude? I'm sorry, I just had to leave that in. That was embarrassing, dude. This is the type of guy we're taking the advice from. I mean, seriously, we're taking top five hardest round 100s from a guy who just down like that. I mean, that's... That's all I have to say. But anyways, coming down to our number four spot, this has got to be Varukt. Now, Varukt is obviously one of the tightest and close quarter zombies maps of all time. And obviously, depending on which game you play, they will be harder depending on the game. Obviously, World at War is the hardest. There's no wonder weapon on Varukt in World at War. So obviously, it is the hardest. All you really have to your disposal is the traps and you have to train absolutely perfectly around the map for it to be usable and be a one however you did get the winter's howl so it was a little bit easier but still the winter's howl basically does nothing for high rounds so it's about the same all right this is one of the all-time stupidest fucking arguments i've ever heard i mean seriously this guy says world at war is the hardest out of all the brooks <laughs> like what a fucking joke dude seriously and his reasoning being it has no wonder weapons which, I mean, it has the flamethrower and the ray gun, so that's that's two right there. I mean, I would count the flamethrower as a wonder weapon because it's it's one of the better guns, like, out of all the zombies. I mean, it's by far, hands down, better than the fucking Winter's Howl. Yeah, yeah, and his argument was that, oh yeah, the Winter's Howl made it a little bit easier, but it's basically useless for high rounds, so it's about the same. Which, if it's about the same, how the fuck is World of War easier whenever you have the flamethrower in World of War? I mean, plus, he, he says... All you have is the traps, which is all, that's all you have in BO1 as well. I mean, there's 24 zombies around in World of War. It's, World of War is honestly like way easier than BO1s. I don't know why he thinks that World of War is harder than BO1. That's, that's ridiculous. And honestly, I don't even know why he didn't bring up BO3. I think BO3 is the hardest out of them all. I, I don't know why he didn't bring it up. I mean, what? what like, uh, whatever, dude. But in Black Ops 3, it is arguably the easiest because A, you got gobble gums, and B, they also switched out the Winter's Howl and you get the Wonder Waff. So either version to me is very difficult. And obviously for when I try to go to round 100 on Varukt, it'll be on BO3. But the BO1 versions and the World at War version is absolutely no joke. And it's way more difficult than the other World at War predecessors because at least on Nocturne Tone World at War, you have the Flamethrower, which basically infinitely kills and then in shinonuma you have the glitch where you can basically do a whole round with one horde of zombies and then darice you have the wonder waff so obviously there is a lot of variation coming in at our number three spot a map that is even harder than barucked is five now five the reason why it's harder is because a at least with verrucked there are two really nice trap spots that are, have a lot of distance from them that you can run through and go to in five all you really have are these two small narrow tiny security checkpoints that end up turning into traps after you find the traps on five number one and then also you don't have any good wonder weapon sure in a variation for Ruck, you have the winter's howl but in five with the winter's howl it's completely useless the only good thing that you even want is the awful lawton so just in case you get trapped in by a horde you can shoot that crossbow and you can run away but other than that five 
is still one of the hardest maps ever. I would argue the close quarters of Five's highest rounding is way harder than Barak's just because of the fact that it is so tight. They're just way too difficult to navigate around without that crossbow. And that is why I truly believe it is way harder than Barak. Sure, Barak has really tight corners and stuff, but Five makes it just impossible in terms of the way that it's laid out and navigated. I, I don't know what the fuck this guy is even saying at this point. He's literally saying the same points for Varukt as Five. He's like, oh yeah, Five has really tight corners. But Varukt also has really tight corners. But no, it, it's a, it's not as bad, you know. Oh yeah, the, the Varukt, the hell is like, it, it'll at least help you. But in Five, the hell is useless when it literally has pop. I, I think I already put that in text. But like, dude, well, you're literally making the same points for both maps. But when you talk about it in Varukt, you're like, oh yeah, it's it's not that big of a deal. But oh, in Five, it's like, oh my god, it's, it's, it's impossible. But coming down... Two at number two spot, this is actually going to be Shangri-La. Now, Shangri-La, for me, I have had an incredibly difficult time getting to round 100 on this map. The layout of this map is quite possibly slightly easier than Barak and Five, but what makes this difficult is the Napalm zombie and the Turbine Zombies. Coming down to our number one spot, I believe this is the hardest Zombies map to achieve round 100 on. I don't think there's anything close that can even come to this. And the reason why is because of the Wonder Weapon. It is goddamn transit. Now don't worry, guys. He's he's joking. I mean, he's, he's got to be, right? Like, hold on. Let, let's keep watching, dude. This, this has got to be a joke. He wants to be a coach because he can't play the fucking game. Motherfuckers like the exact opposite of Pat Riley. Here you go, guys. Here's Coach, Here's Coach Gage coming right up. Build the wall. Here I come, you head. Oh, my God. Motherfucker can barely brush his teeth in the fucking morning, man. Fucking stupid. A transit might be one of the most open space maps ever. But the problem with the round 100 on this, if you do not know how to use the jet gun, aka this guy you're gonna have the worst time ever i do not understand how to use the jet gun i've looked at videos after videos after videos and to this day i swear the jet gun that they're using in their video must be some pre-patch version of what i'm using in my gameplay because honestly yeah bad news guys turns out he wasn't joking i mean seriously dude what an absolute fucking what a moron this guy literally just said the reason it's the hardest run 100 in zombies is because he doesn't understand how to use the wonder weapon. Like, that's your fault. Like, if, if you can't understand how to use the wonder weapon, I don't even know why you're making this video. Like, what the fuck, man? Uh, like, I don't even know what I just watched. I gotta take a minute. But anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want more videos like this, tell me in the comments. But that's, that's basically it. And I just, I had to make this fucking video. I had to make another one like this. Because this guy is an absolute clown. I mean, seriously, uh, I don't know what, what he was talking about with some of these maps. Especially at the beginning, whenever he said he had the most backed up criteria. Like, who the fuck does this guy think he is, man? Like, oh my god, dude. He thinks because he's a big zombies YouTuber that he just means that he knows everything about zombies. Um, even though he clearly doesn't. I've watched some of his content. He's just, he's an absolute moron. Uh, that's basically, I hope you guys enjoyed and it's time for Clip of the Week. See ya. I fucked up. I'm dead. I can't believe it. I fucked up this fucking- <gasps> Oh my fucking god! I'm gonna- Holy shit, dude. That is the worst fucking decision making! <sighs> Fuck me! Dude, why am I doing this? Like, I know I can't go behind this fucking spawn. Like, I avoid it even when I have the crossbow. What am I fucking doing? <sighs> that f I, I said it. That fucking Max tilted me. And it fucked up my game. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I'm such a...
and never get the fuck up and get a no. job. Cause all you're doing is sponging your grown ass. Wow.